Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai or Kia with the GDI engine guys and you're trying to find where your oil pump is located. Stay with us, we'll explain where it's located guys. And one uh, one common mistake people make, okay, that can actually destroy your engine on a higher mileage vehicle. So stay with us until the end and we'll explain what it is. If you have problems with the oil pump, it may not be the oil pump. So we'll explain what can cause that problem. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way, we can keep providing this free information to you. Now, if you need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping as well, check out, guys, the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So that's a GDI engine. Now, even if you have a different GDI engine, this specifically is a 2.4 GDI. But even if you have a 1.6, 1.8, 2.0, 2.4, 2.5, the procedure is about the same. Let's talk about the location of the oil pump and we will explain if you have problems with oil pressure, what can easily cause that and what to look for. So that engine, as I said, 2.4, we took it apart. We removed timing cover and all that stuff. We have multiple videos how to set the timing, how to replace timing chains. Because most people think, guy, they think that the timing chain is a lifetime deal. In my opinion, it's not, and we have videos to prove you wrong. So, if you want to see when to replace the timing chain on GDI engine, check it out the videos on our channel. And if you look at it, you have the main timing chain, okay, that's actually uh, moving the crankshaft from the crankshaft, it goes to the camshaft, okay, and comes down. And then you have a secondary chain. That secondary chain is for the oil pump, but that oil pump is not oil pump only. You have a balance shaft in most cases as well. That can, that uh, it's there to make your engine super smooth, guys, to counterbalance, okay, the vibrations. But that same shaft is for the oil pump and the balance shaft. Never ever remove that sprocket because if you do, everything will be out of balance. The, uh, we have a special video that explains how to remove and replace oil pump on GDI engine. That will teach you the correct way to do it. Now, if you look at it, that's the oil pump and that's the screen right here where it sucks oil and this right here is the balance shafts guys, they're pretty heavy. If you do not have oil pressure, check the oil screen, remove the oil pan, check the oil screen, make sure you don't have carbon build up and it's not plugged up old engines and if you use cheap oil or haven't done enough, uh, often oil change, it can build carbon build up that can plug up the screen and that can cause your engine to start for oil which can be critical and you can practically destroy your engine. Number two, in some cases, it could be problems with a faulty fuel, uh, excuse me, oil filter. If it, if the oil filter is not working the valve correctly, that can cause, okay, problems as well. So I will recommend to replace the oil filter, check the screen. If everything checks out, uh, okay, it could be a bad oil pump in some cases, but doesn't happen very, very often on those GDI's engines. So we have a special video that explains how to remove and replace the oil pump. It will be on the channel. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.